Nice cut. Going out, then the dude spins out, drives in the barrier, right in front of me. I was driving, and this side was way over here, and the front side was all the way forward, like this. Vegas for you. Okay, drove into the barrier right in front of me. Drove over the barrier? What? Drove over the barrier? Now, like into it, into spun it? out right in front of me. I hear the track's pretty narrow. There's no room for passing, really. You pass someone and on the edge of the corner, like in the barrier, basically. Whoa. Oh my whoa. god. First session was great, got Brennan on the wrenches, um, track's awesome, really happy to be at Las Vegas Motor Speedway and have a lot of momentum. Uh, he's ripping dude, we haven't hit a barrier yet so that's solid, um, I don't know, it's session two. Let's go interview some moms, they're the backbone of the Trinity tent, truly, they feed us, all of us on Monsters. Moms, don't run away from us. So I'm here with Christine Paneris and Michelle Bailiff, who are, Michelle is Sean, the team owner's wife, and also basically equally the team owner. And Christine is Nikita's mom. So how is your guys' weekend going? It's good. Good? The food's, food's fabulous. been on par. I haven't really struggled with anything. <laughs> the food is fabulous. You I love the, the food. I, I haven't no seen Mike Doty today. I have one day left. So we'll see. I could always screw it up. Uh-oh. Jace, how's warm-up going? Um, all right so far. That's about it. I just want to be in the fast group. I mean, if you go out at the very front, you can get away with some clean laps. Uh, I have not tried waiting in the back at all, just because I think I'll catch them too quickly. What happened with your suit, Tom? It's too small. It's too small? Yeah. Making some adjustments? Yeah. Why are you checking the balls? One of our other beloved Trinity mechanics. Ethan, how are you doing this weekend? Good, how are you? I'm doing pretty well, thank you for asking. You're welcome. <laughs> Man of many words, you two for Finn this weekend? No, myself, really. <laughs> oh, he's racing. Yeah, I'm tuning for Finn. You're tuning for Finn. You're a man of many words. You're making my job so easy right now. <laughs> What's your favorite part of Tuning for Trinity? Finnegan Bailiff. <laughs> you guys best friends? <laughs> you gotta get it over all the way. So now you just kill all your momentum through there, which leads to another straightaway right here, which kills your momentum going straight away. Slow the hands down with braking. When you're braking, you cannot be turning. You gotta hold it.
So if you go in there super deep and you barely miss the braking zone, you're gonna fly off and chill your run. Someone else. Oh. Yeah, 979. Uh, they wrote that on the thing, and then I pulled. I'm like, what's off? Like, oh, your transpires on. I'm like, oh. It's picking oh. up time. Okay, so, uh, so they pulled you off. Yeah. And then they were like, oh, and yeah, the wrong dude. All the combo. Can I go back out? No, you can't. Stop. That's so stupid. Really. So how's it racing for Trinity? Very nice, yeah, I like it. It's uh, my first race in about a year, so it's really nice being back in the car and uh, yeah, working with a good team. You're running at the front of the pack, um, doing pretty well. What do you think is pushing you to do the best? Uh, I think because I really want to win this event, I was runner-up two years ago, so it's kind of making me want to win even more. Um, and also it's trying to do a good, good job for the team. They do a good job for me, so I want to do a good job back. How you doing, Bren? Good, man. How are you doing? How's your weekend been so far? Uh, not bad. Built, uh, built a new go-kart yesterday, so that wasn't super fun. But other than that, it hasn't been too bad. How's it been doing? Uh, well, not the best. We crashed in both heat races yesterday. Um, we start 21st, I think, for the next one. So hopefully if we get a good finish in the next heat, we will maybe be starting closer to the front for the LCQ. Um, but at this point, we're just trying to make it into the race, so we'll see what happens. Okay, how's it not racing K and racing X30? That's not usually your jam. Uh, it's good. There's, uh, there's quite a bit harder competition, but mm -hmm. it's better. I think it fits me a little bit better. Just got to get used to it. Mm -hmm. What's the most difference? Most different part? Probably the tires and the competition, but other than that, it's about the same. Why the tires? They're softer. Noted. You'll learn something new every day. Thomas, you guys have a minute to talk. Yeah. You're totally fine. How was here? So, how was your race yesterday? You basically dominated the X30 class. Yeah, it was too good race, starting from the inside, from fifth. So, mm -hmm. I had a good start in both of the races. Was able to make it to third in the first lap, I think. And then from that, from then, I just had some really good pace. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Trinity and Car Republic for giving me a great go-kart all week and to Comet Engine for the really good power. So just happy with the result yesterday, just trying to look forward for today. today's E, trying to do the same and have a secure the pole position for Sunday's final. How was your race today? Which one? All of the above. Um, well, the heat race was all right at first. I moved up from 20th. And then a driver tried holding the outside of another driver going into the kink. And I went up and over him and through the chain. But the LCQ was tough. I mean, obviously, everyone's really aggressive. Um, started 19th and I finished 9th. I mean, there wasn't much, wasn't much passing going on towards the end of the race because everyone got so spread out after the wrecks. And Says, how was your race today? The whole weekend is what it is. I mean, um, we struggle a little bit with the car, but obviously, when we qualify back there, there's not really much you can do about it. So, fight on and look forward to the next one. Yeah, right. What's your next race? Homestead, Homestead I think. Florida Winter Tour. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it. Well, I hope for a good pace there. You did good, to, good this weekend, despite the challenges. Kita, you oh. raced this weekend? Yeah, I did. All wrapped up, how'd it go? Um, not good, I learned a lot, but no luck, no luck. That's all right. Uh, Had the speed, not the luck. You got through a lot of gnarly crashes. Yeah. 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 Right? This is your first Supernats. Is this your first Scooza race or just Supernats? Yeah, first Scooza race. First Scooza race, yeah. and he made it to the LCQ, which is better than most people we know, so yeah. good job, Nikita. Thank you. Anything you wanna say? I'll be back next year. Yeah, you will. That's what's up. Sean. Oh, boy is right. How are you feeling about this weekend? I was super excited. We had a 
you know, I guess a tough going in KA, but we got, well, we got two in. So got a good shot with Keegan. Jace's got his workout, you know, work cut out for him to get into the upper half. But the way he looked in that LCQ looked pretty promising. X30 program, how can you complain? You got, you know, one, two of them. So I think we're in good shape there. Danny's running really good. Thomas is incredible right now. Just hopefully the Las Vegas uh, walls don't bite us at some point in the X30. Gavin showed good speed. Really, our X30 program's in real good shape. So super excited. Good. I'm glad.